Well, here's something pretty cool. At least I think so. This is a Aztec X1. Panacat device is X1. And the nice thing about this is it's pretty simple. It just supports four stepper drivers. So you've got your, your uh, let's see, actually it is uh, Z, extruder, Y, and X. It's a little bit weird. I mean, this, this is the extruder here and the Z is over here. But you can actually run two Zs if you needed to. Although in our situation, we, uh, we're using this for a Delta bot, so we don't need to do that. Now, I've got this plugged in for the first time. Uh, just to make sure that it would power up, and so I've got uh, I've got an Xbox 360 uh, power supply here. This is the 203 watt power supply with a little uh, uh, Xbox 360 to PS um, no to, to Xbox Slim. This is a, a Slim adapter which I've just basically cut the end off, plugged it in here, and um, I've actually gone ahead and wired up the hot end. This is a 0.4 millimeter J hot end. Um, you know, this is my own my own design. Uh, this could be magnetic ball joints here. But really, what I was interested in was making sure that the thermistor and the hot end would work, and that I could burn the firmware correctly for this because I haven't done that before. Uh, I've been I've been using these uh, X3s over here. This is a uh, this is a mega powered by Mega, and this is powered by uh, the Atmel, let's see, which one is that, the 1284? Yeah, the, the Atmega 1284 is in this one. Both of them run at 16 megahertz, and they have this, about the same amount of RAM, it's just a diff different number of pinouts. So there's less pinouts on that board uh, than there are on this board, but in our case, we have sufficient pinouts to run a Delta. So one of the things that happened when I first booted up uh, and got uh, Arduino working is there was no uh, there was no mention of this particular controller in the uh, tools uh, board uh, here so I actually had to go to and I'll show this to you real quick uh, I, I went to um, code.google.com Sanguino downloads and I found that they added support for the Sanguino this is actually uh, the X1 is a Sanguino a clone and they added this so I downloaded this and uh, dropped the files into uh, let's see if I can find that here uh, the Arduino um, hardware so Arduino 1.0 hardware and then there's a Sanguino folder which was just dragged and dropped into there nothing else changed that's all I had to do is drag that zip file from the Sanguino uh, website there, the Google website, and uh, then we came back over here, uh, loaded up, and all of a sudden, under um, under board, you'll see down at the bottom, there it is. There's a Sanguino with at Mega 1284. That's the one you choose. So that's uh, that's that, and then. Uh, what you do is you go into configuration.h for your uh, Repetier, this is Repetier uh, firmware, and you pick uh, motherboard equals 62, right there. And um, that was all it took to get this board recognized and uh, uploading the firmware. Now one of the things that did not work off the bat was uh, the fan controller didn't work, so I actually I went into pins, uh, pins.h over here, and um, and I did a search for uh, motherboard equals uh, equal equals 62. I think you can see it right there. Uh, focus. There we go. If motherboard equal equals 62, that's what you search for. Uh, and then you just have to come in here, scroll down until you find the fan pin, which was actually set to minus one. And I just set it to four because that's the that's the pin out that uh, that Roy's got on the on the schematic for. And then. Uh, I just uploaded that firmware uh, to the board, and then I came over to um, Repetier uh, host, and I, I made sure that my printer settings were set uh, to point to the correct uh, COM port, and then I just uh, I just did a connect, and it came right up. 
What's cool is that I can just come in here and uh, I've already got the uh, heat extruder. It's already uh, uh, it's working right off the bat. So there you see the numbers are increasing. Um, and I can come in here and I can turn the fan on and we'll just take a quick look over here. And you can see, yep, fan is working.